We should come up with stupid little names for the videos. Like, out of the stupid things we say. Like, like Amnesia Part 1, Jeff. Amnesia Part 2. Yes! Chair. We should. Or Defective Window or something. Well, shoot, we're still not even a half an hour in, I don't think. Uh, it's 11.19. Or 10.19. You don't defy gra- fucking laws. You, you chairs suck. <gasps> I must! <laughs> oh Damn. god, oh god. Dylan just sent me a tweet, an Uberfax tweet. Mary Jane was actually killed by Spider-Man's radioactive semen in the comics. Really? <laughs> Apparently! Like, legitly? Oh, I guess. Delicate work. Oh no! No! Oh! No! 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 We're good. Wait, I need a chair. Come here, chairs. You don't defy the laws of physics, but you will do. Oh, remember the time we spent like 10 minutes trying to. St oh, you're doing it again. Trying to stack the maps on the no! fire. <laughs> and that happened. And my mom walked in and watched us try to stack them for a while. I didn't- did she? Yeah. I don't remember that. Oh, Dylan says, well good, Mary Jane was a bitch. I kinda liked her. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. They're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Cool maps. You can't actually read them, so they're pretty useless. <laughs> but there is thingies in this chest. I like thingies. Yeah, there is. So many thingies. All of the thingies. There was epic music starting, and then it stopped. Ooh, chair! Just, Just like when... Map! Map! Just... <laughs> Can you do Just it? Just like when, when the day-night cycle changes in Minecraft, and it makes that creepy roar. Yeah. The first time I played Minecraft, um, I was, um, I was making my house, which it kind of goes underground, and it was the crappy wood house because it was my first time playing Minecraft, and wow, that exploded. And, um, and I heard the noise for the first time, and I, like, screamed and cried and, like, hid in my basement. My, in my Minecraft basement thinking that a dragon was going to come kill me or something. Ink bottle. <laughs> oh, hey. Fingers began to spark brightly and spirit me away. 
unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. Which is regular. The thing I can geometry. Is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling to safety. Grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of their most peculiar relic. And then we learn more. How exciting. You know what I really hate about this fucking part? The hmm? fucking ambient piano in the back music. Hey, grunts need to entertain themselves. Maybe one took piano lessons. You have to be swift. Why you gotta hate on his why you gotta hate on his hobby? Huh? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful with that. Whoa. That was scary. Nice book. Broken glass. Piece of paper. Broken glass. <laughs> <clears throat> All start in Brandenburg Castle. 1801. Another region rich with lore is... Man, that word is gonna piss me off. All stopped. Deep within the eat, crushing woods. For centuries, there has been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is a prisque... Er, yes. Whatever. I don't care. As can be. I bet the area is haunted by the dark. As the any local one will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversation since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twist on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of Thirty Years War. It is said the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies brought by the tainted souls have them left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Henry Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known... What the fuck is that word? Er erudite? Erudite? No. Well, whatever. Visited um, Alstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in a local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he mentioned in many records of time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Henrik is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was the mysterious man who visited a sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? This is a lot of fucking reading. The Immortal Baron! The Baron of Brandenburg lives in a reclusive life with his family, the castle nearby, nearby Allstate. And like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century, it was rebuilt by Alexander a nobleman from the Rhinelands claiming the role as a protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. Family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring have never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is, in fact, the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation and joined the covert coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Yay! I only listened to about half of that. I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay. Oh, secret passage! Woo! Oh, 
god, I have like four people trying to talk to me right now. Tell them to fuck off. I mean... Hey, look, a key. Man. Ah, more reading. Oh, Kane died. What? He just got home from work and I guess he flopped over dead. Oh. Because he just said that in the chat, slash me flops over dead. How sad. Tell yep. him I give my condolences. Okay. Wilhelm and his fools have endure endangered my research along long enough with their absent-minded handling of human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm up and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave, or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can all rot for I care. Maybe I'll leave them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. This guy has creepy bandings. Since this door has been so graciously open for me now. <laughs> Kane is still on the ground just laying there. Kane is okay with this though. Kane, the floor is surprisingly comfy. I don't think that last one was an accident. Ah, flappy. Okay. Yes. Alright, for those of you not familiar with amnesia, if anybody, since I'm guessing everybody is relatively think, familiar with Amnesia. Yeah, it's kind of a cult game at this point. Yes. There is a monster thing that lurks in the castle. But everybody likes to call him Flappy. He likes to eat my socks. That was fucking creepy. Oh, Flappy. Uh, Man, I hate fucking whatever. I'm going back now. He also has this ability to fucking disappear into nothingness. Apparently. Which is both comforting and absolutely terrifying. Kane is trying to tell me that flustered means confused, and it doesn't. Flustered doesn't mean confused at all. Is he is he being stupid? I don't know. Tell him I tell him I told him he's being stupid. Flustered does not mean confused. No, because he said he was going to get me a birthday present, and it was, like, this really nice thing that he had made himself, and I was told him that, I, and I, like, keyboard mashed at him a little bit, and he's like, what? I'm just, I'm just kind of flustered by your niceness. He goes, why are you confused? I said, what? Its meaning means confused. Flustered. Flustered doesn't mean confused at all. Then Google is an ass because I looked it up. Right. I will use this key to unlock the cellar door, and then I will go into the cellar. I don't really like the cellar. I hate the no cellar. No one likes the cellar. Nobody likes a cellar, let alone this cellar. Now I need to look up the actual definition of flustered. Doesn't it mean like, like frustrated in a sense? I fucking hate oh, the cellar. Oh, what do you know? Flustered is one of those words where you know what it means, but you just don't know how to describe it. Yeah. And the, Google says, makes someone agitated or confused. I think... I, I think agitated would be better, but like a good kind of agitated. Cooper. 
protect me, Beryl. <laughs> the barrel's not gonna protect you, I'm sorry. Two barrels will. going to be recording pretty much straight through. For those of you at home, this is either going to be the end of part one or the start of part two. It is 1134. We've been recording for 45 minutes. This is not the end or start of anything. Well, screw you. This is like going to be in part three or something. Well, fuck you. I hate you. When, where, and how hard, bitch. Hey! Dylan doesn't like it when I get all lesbian with you, so you know, I do it as often as possible. I've noticed that. Why doesn't he like it when you go into lesbians with me? Because he thinks we'll actually go into lesbians. Oh my god, Beryl. That yeah. Beryl could have killed you if you were standing another foot to the, to the left. Instead, it only knocked me out. The first time I played this game, I remember I lit, like, two things in here, and then after the barrel happens, everything blows out, so then I wasted two of my tinder boxes, and I was mad. I seem to recall you lighting every- all the- all the lights in a room, and, like, using it as a safe haven. Like, there was a- a gatherer out there, and you would see one, and you'd just flee back to that room. And you, like, barricaded the door with rocks. I feel like there's something else I need in this room. But now I will be the smart one, and now I will light it. Hey Rock, get the fuck out of here. Hey Rock. Man, Jeff has been busy. Jeff, you have some pretty obese kids. <laughs> wow, that was rude. Hey, I'm just trying to be real with them, okay? I mentioned I really fucking hate the cellar. Like four times. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> uh, nervous laughter, barricade the door, please. locked up in the basement. Oh, oh, jeez. Jeez. Hey, I need this. Ooh, 
a note. God damn it, Earth. Wilhelm's last words. My name is Wilhelm, House of Garrick, or Garage, whatever. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle of Brennenburg. At the most of the air. air Wow, I'm saying it in my head, but I can't get it fucking out of my mouth. Wait, what word? Mouth over it, so I can see it. Aristocracy. Thank you. You're welcome. I was curious about what this was. uh, The supposed knight of the order could want from me, and and accepted the invitation. The bearer was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid, and the reason that the reason I was chosen was because of my follies of my past, and not the honors I've been rewarded during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim, and to do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly, and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many perhaps even a hundred, none of them, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight the Baron invited me and my men down to wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted in joining us in a toast. The wine tasted fine and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabol- diabolical ways. My men are screaming, their skins have been pierced by their own tangled bones, and I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer. Oh, such a cheery last letter, don't you agree? Yeah, that, that was gorgeous. It was beautiful, and These I feel are... much happier for reading that. Oh god, look at the entrails. <laughs> squish, squish. Squish, oh. <laughs> squish. Alright, I'm done. Okay. Squish. Oh, I really fucking hate this part. I fucking hate the basement. I really hate the basement. 